Holy fuck. That was total inventory cost like 45,000. Pineapple. <laughs> Anyways, I have some packages. It is Saturday. Beautiful Saturday morning. I got my workout in. It's really hot outside though. So I want to stay indoors today. Oh, okay. I almost cut myself. I'm about to go get lunch with my friend. Uh, but I'm going to shower first and fix this situation. Uh, some pre-workout from RSP, my favorite. I didn't order anything, so I don't know what this is. I also don't know how people get a hold of my address. Oh, Godiva. Oh, wow. I've had this package sitting here for the past day and apparently I'm supposed to refrigerate this but anyways genuinely don't know who sent this but thank you to whoever sent me some Godiva chocolate all right I'm gonna go shower oh I'm pretty hungry gonna got food soon First I gotta know if you gon' stay Come take over my brain Cause I don't wanna think About this fucking ice cold world That we in heart full of all this hate Fuck they lemonade I like sippin' 80 proof Yo. straight With no chase uh -huh. I like sippin' 80 proof uh -huh. Pull that shit up till I black out Then I tell the truth uh -huh. Fuck these runners and these stunners I just wanna know ya yeah. One and done them but I need someone to get up closer This shit new to me, no Dan and I just narrowly avoided a thunderstorm, but we are at a WeWork. Of course we are, it's a Saturday, not a lot of people are here. And I have some work to do. I actually have to make a really big purchase today. So that's always stressful. A lot of you guys were asking about this thing. It's literally just my SSD, like a portable hard drive. And then I just put Velcro on it. And I put Velcro on my laptop and then I just stick it on there. So, now I can move it around. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to make a purchase right now that is in the range of around $30,000 and I just don't have a big enough credit line to make a purchase like this. So I need to uh, talk to some people that I know and get this sorted. And this is the reason I got into like credit card travel hacking like basically trying to leverage points as for as much maximum value as possible you know when you're making bigger purchases especially on the business side obviously those transactions are getting processed through cards and those are opportunities for you to earn a lot of points like you know of course you earn points when you go out to eat or when you buy little things but on the business side when you make business transactions they're way way bigger than any of the small microtransactions I make on a day-to-day -day basis. So making these purchases with the right tools or the right cards uh, allows you to leverage that an insane amount. Like this one purchase can get me enough points to travel to Asia and back like two times. And I just increased my credit line. That literally took 30 seconds. <laughs> I just got my credit line increased to 50,000. Hello. I don't think we need to do a run through of the numbers again, right? All right, it should go through. Let me just, I just uh, placed the order. 27,522.82. And then we just spent, um, what, 10 last week? This is my biggest monthly spend 
of my life. All right, and I just placed that second order as well. 8,151. I'm gonna calculate how many total inventory costs, like 45,000. That's kind of crazy. All right, it's the weekend, so I'm gonna do my weekend Q&A where I call people. I haven't actually decided that it's gonna be on the weekend. I just said that because I'm trying to make it a thing. I do need a name for this segment. You know, when I call people on my phone and then answer questions, Q&A, Q&A, Sunday. It's not even a Sunday, it's Saturday. I don't know, help me come up with a name for this segment. It went really well last time and you guys liked it, so I'm gonna do it again. I have this unicorn here with me. I always hug this during the work day when I'm at this WeWork. Okay, I'm gonna call some people. Are we calling, who are we calling? Benjamin. Yo, Elio, what's up? Yo, Benjamin, how'd you know it was me? Cause you said you're gonna call, so I just Ass waited for the call. Assume that I was gonna call you? Yeah. I love it. Do you have a question I could answer for you? Sure, who are the roommates? It's me and maybe Sneeko. We're waiting on Sneeko, actually. That's the only person we're waiting on. Cool, good question. I just wanted to say hi. All right, have a good one. All right, you too, bye. Peace out. Hello? Hi, this is Elliot. Oh, hi, Elliot. Do you have a question no, that I could answer for you? Um, uh, My question is, how do you, like, basically, like stop caring about what other people think of you as a YouTuber. So I used to have this fear of filming because it was really scary to carry this camera around in public and film myself talking to the camera like a crazy person. But the way I got over it was basically the idea that if I didn't get the shots that I needed, no one else was gonna do it for me, right? Like if I wasn't gonna film myself, it's not like I could get someone else to film their self, like it had to be me. And so this kind of carries over to other aspects of my life. Like there are things that I need to do for myself and people might judge me, but at the end of the day, there are things that I need to do for myself and like no one's gonna do it for me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, of course. Thanks for, thanks for the question. All right, bye, have a great one. You too. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Hello. Hi, this is Elliot. Hi, Elliot. Hi, what's your name? I'm Angela. Angela, nice to meet you. Do you have a question that I could answer for you? Yes, I want to know if you think New York City is the best city on the planet. New York City is most definitely... It's the best city. Without yeah. a doubt, the best city in the world. And why is that? It's just the energy. I've been to a lot of cities around the world and none other like New York. It's actually very uncomfortable here. Very loud, very dirty, hot, sweaty very in the winter. Smelly. Yeah, in the, in the winter it's really cold. It's brutal, but mm. something about it, everyone here is here for a reason. And I kind of like that East Coast energy where it's very like type A, like go, go, go. You know, like everyone's like always going somewhere, like physically, but also like metaphorically. You know, they're trying to make something of themselves and yeah, I just I like that. being around that energy where people are focused on building something real for themselves. I like the people here, I like the energy. Um, obviously the city's great too. Literally just like all of the things you could do here. But yeah, I, I think it's definitely my favorite city. I'm really glad I chose to move here. No, I totally agree with that. It's like the hustle and bustle. The yeah, definitely. energy, the vibe, you really cannot beat that. I think being in New York City in your early 20s is like, there's, it's like the best place to be. You really oh, cannot be anywhere else. 100%. I wouldn't be early here. 20s yeah, I, I don't think I would stay here forever, but early 20s, mm -hmm. it is unbeatable. So everyone no, in their yeah. early 20s should move out to New York for sure. Cool. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Well, thanks for calling. Of course. <laughs> bye, Angela. Okay. Bye. That's a great question. Do you want to ask me a question? Do you want to come here? Ask you a question. Yeah. This is Dan. He was just working right there while I was answering yeah. calls. Do you have a question for me? Um, I just I just recruited him to help me with this. How do you stay humble with all the success you've had? I don't like necessarily try. Right, right, right. Like, but, like it's what? not like a conscious thing, but for me it's like it, it's very much because of my mindset. Of course, it's good to be like, okay, I've made progress. Right. But I don't think it's ever good to consider yo yourself to be like to have made it. Like 
I think that's a very dangerous thing because as soon as you think that you've made it, like where else are you supposed to go? Right. Right. And so I think when you approach a goal that you've set, you should already be thinking about where, where should I be headed next? And I'm just getting started, right? Like what I have accomplished so far is like just 1% of what I want to accomplish. And so if I am just indulging in success now, then like I'll never get to where I want to be because indulging in success and like indulging in your achievements like kind of holds you back from going even further because you start to convince yourself that you're you know that you've made it which is like super dangerous good question this is a long clip <sighs> all right so elliot's sleeping right now i'm actually about to go wake him up um i doubt this will even make it in the vlog but Rise and shine. No oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll put these hoes away for a rainy day. But first I gotta know if you gon' stay. Come take over my <laughs> content. <laughs> I hate you, motherfucker. Alright. Oh my god. It's Joma! Hello, hello. I actually Joma texted me. We we're about to go get dinner, but Joma texted me, he said, Oh, give me like an hour, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh yeah, I was so, quite tired. Yeah. yeah, I actually took a nap because of mm -hmm. you at the WeWork. You said I inspired you to take a nap. What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> because otherwise I would have felt guilty taking a nap, uh -huh. but you took yeah. a nap. So I'm like, oh, Joe was taking a nap, but I can take a nap. Oh yeah? Am I, am I that important to you? Yeah, you're a big <laughs> Okay, model. here's why I take naps. Well, to be honest, today I just took a nap because my uh, my housekeeper came early. So that means I had to wake up early. Because you know what how I wake up What is early for you? 9 a.m. <laughs> right, I usually wake up at noon, right? So I'm so tired. And I couldn't sleep because I was anticipating yeah. the housekeeper coming at 9 a.m. What? Right? It's not, like, usually you anticipate, like, you know, the, a field trip or, like, something exciting. It doesn't matter. You're like, anticipating your housekeeper coming? <laughs> yeah. If I have to wake up early, I'm gonna be anticipating for it. But anyways, I, I couldn't see. sleep, so then which is why I was tired. Is this cocaine? Um, pre-workout actually. Someone <laughs> someone sent it to me, but today I didn't drink any coffee, so that's why I was really tired. So I thought I'd just dry scoop a little bit. Gross. Okay, I'll just, just I'll just I'll, I'll micro scoop. Micro scoop. Like, no, like I don't even want to scoop. I just want like oh, a taste. Pinky. Yeah, yeah. I just want. It tastes like grape. <laughs> Stop that. It's good. It's great. It's yeah. great. <laughs> okay, shall we go to dinner? Yeah, let's go. Joma invited me to some some dinner, so some fancy dinner. It's not that fancy. So we're gonna go eat. I'm gonna leave my camera here. I'm actually gonna sleep after I go because I'm really <laughs> tired. Yeah, Yo, you deserve it. So I'm gonna I'm cut the vlog here. Um, Don't forget to sleep eight hours a day. And drink water mm -hmm. two liters a day and wash your hands goodbye take over my brain cuz i don't want to think about this fucking ice cold world and we in our